Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EGIK WM France Deck G45 G G45 game with PM Jewel and PT944. So looking at this first pile, I see Farm Steward. I'll grab Farm Steward. Uh, what am I getting back here? Journeyman could be okay. Dairy Cryer, fine. Seed Seller, fine. Miser probably goes. Maybe I even get Maid. Not that Maid is great, but Miser probably goes. Maybe Journeyman. Probably Seed Seller. So Miser, Seed Seller. So I probably get Journeyman or Dairy Cryer back. Sometimes people take understudy, but you need a pretty specific game to take game plan to take understudy, I think. I think if PT does something silly in this game, I'm just going to start banning them from my games. This is like the fourth game in a row that I've played with them that they've done really awful play, and it's just absolutely destroyed my game. And when I'm trying to win, that is exceptionally irritating. Um, this hand kind of sucks. Pig, pig breeder's okay, clay plaster could be okay with farm steward. Like, I could skip on building a wood room and just build clay rooms. Parquet setter's fine. I don't like Parquet Setter as much with Farm Steward though, because I'm not going to build rooms to trigger it, so probably just going to do a big fencing action and a couple plow actions, so I'll probably grab Giant here. With Giant, there's always the chance that I do something silly, like don't build my first room and get Field Doctor here. Okay. Yeah. Just stay on a two-room house. Okay, um, childcare worker is better than normal because I'm not going to build wood room. I'm not going to build any rooms. Um, I like apple picker. I could maybe just go with apple picker. Problem with apple picker is usually that you want that to be your second action. And in this game, my second action should be plow. Renaissance man helps with point sealing. 
Child care worker is an okay way to feed, yeah. Yeah, if I get a way to get veg in the miners, Renaissance Man helps with point ceiling for sure. Um, child care worker, child care worker helps me feed. I could feed though if I get crops in the ground. So that's a point in favor of something like apple picker here. So the way I need to think about this is I know my second action is going to be plow, right? So if my first move is two reed, three wood. I don't actually need those resources for a pretty long time, so that's kind of why I like child care worker here. Yeah, I like child care worker here. Uh, apple picker I like when I want a second action pl uh, take grain, but I don't. I want a second action plow this grain this game. So, uh, yeah, miser's still here. I'm kind of surprised by that. I'll just grab seed seller. Yeah, but there's Chief in the game. Like, I saw Chief, right? How did the person who opened Chief not grab Miser, I think? And it works really well with a lot of strategies. Seed Seller plus Apple Picker. I actually think that's kind of redundant. With Seed Seller, I want to play... I want to play Seed Seller, get a grain and bake it, and then go back and take two grain later and sow them. And there's your six, six grain for reasonable points. I don't actually like I don't actually like want to sit on the one grain space this game. Oh man, if we go to six or seven games today, I'm going to be very annoyed. Because that game one should have been a win. It, I guess it was a mistake to ren to take vegetable over reno. But to me, it was so clear that PT should not build the BMW and instead build a room in reno. That seems so obvious to me, but obviously that was not... PT did not feel the same way. <sighs> I have to try not to be tilted. I, I'm tilted. I have to try not to be tilted. Okay, so Miller. So Miller is actually pretty good here with Seed Seller. Pig Breeder is not bad also, but uh, yeah, I like Miller here. With Seed Seller. Makes for pretty easy food. Very late Sculptor's Son. I'm going to grab manual labor since there's a reasonable chance that I do something like manual labor into resources a bunch of times or resources into plow a bunch of times. So manual labor could go off a bunch. Well, if I have any way of getting rid of room, straw thatch hut is a thing. I could also take straw thatch hut just to keep it away from my opponents. I think I'm okay passing Rooster here, since second action plow should be available. I'm not too fussed about what my first move is. Three wood, reedstone food. Probably three wood or hawk, probably not reedstone food. Because it'll get taken by someone else. Um...
This doesn't seem like a fantastic coffee break game, but I'm not that impressed by any of the rest of these cards. I don't really want collar and chain this game. I should fence at a reasonable time. So yeah, first pick coffee break seems fine. Yeah, Rotherham is a thing if I think somebody else is competing with me for plow. Uh, okay, so like open gate sheep market w would be pretty good with collar and chain because I can get a breeding pair of sheep and, and not build a fireplace but still get value out of them. Either turn them into points or into crops. Uh, I like absinthe. Sheep market is interesting to me. If I think I'm going to fence early, sheep market is quite interesting. As a way to get my crops to take advantage of my early fields. If I had Renaissance Man, sheep market would be better, but I guess I don't have it, so. Um, absinthe, I guess. Take the free point when I can. Now I'll wheel something. I'll get something useful back out of this pile. I'll get something very useful back. Uh, so I have to take large sun hat just because I don't want anyone else having it. But yeah, large sun hat is good. Hopefully I don't get. Hopefully I don't get screwed out of large sun hat again. Okay, corral. Wow, this game is being. Really good to me. Parchment and Corral. Well, Color and Chain's not there, and I can't hold the sheep for Parchment without Corral, so I need to take Corral. But yeah, Corral is pretty f pretty fantastic here. Yeah, Baking Tray would not be too bad, but take Corral here. So I have a couple different options. I can feed with manual labor childcare worker. And the way the manual labor will work is I really like the two read action and I try to make sure that manual labor triggers whenever I take two read and whenever I take wood. Uh, or I could do like try to push out Miller seed seller pretty early. And then the grain space becomes a five food with the baking improvement with the clay oven. Seed cell, uh, grain becomes a five food in a grain space, which obviously makes for easy, you know, easy feeding. Correct. Wow, collar and chain is still here. And rooster. Uh, what are these guys drafting? Um... I mean, I could have taken Parchment if I knew that Collar and Chain was going to come back. But yeah, I'll get Corral here. I get, or I get... Do I still want Collar and Chain? Like, I have Corral. I don't really need the animal capacity. It lets me go from a Reedstone food action into... Um, it lets, lets me go from Reedstone food into taking the sheep. But I have Corral to do that with. Do I want to just make sure I don't go last? Rooster could guarantee that I play like manual labor around one. Yeah, okay. I like open gate here. I think what I do is yeah, I don't I'll I'll get a breeding pair of sheep and let them all go out the gate. It's 
Sleight of hand's not too bad for turning clay into resources for childcare worker, but yeah, I like open gate here. Rather than plow didn't wheel, yeah. Miller lets me bake when somebody else takes bake. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay, so it's a bake in response to the apple picker, for example. Thank you. Good catch, Fofo. I forgot about that. I was thinking I got it confused with um, Peon, I guess. And uh, bookmark's okay here. Bookmark is my I got three wood and plow was taken round one. Setting up giant with bookmark could be could be a thing. Rooster helps with the large sun hat timing. It does, yeah, yeah. Because I think probably what I'm hoping is that I'll play, I'll probably play manual labor round one, and then plow second move, and then I'm hoping to get two read round two, and then uh, plow, and that triggers large sun hat, and then round three I can plow large sun hat or large sun hat plow, and then jump to wherever. Jump to wood, probably jump to a two wood action, get an extra wood. Yeah, if I had corral, then what I could do is have all the fields adjacent to my house give me points and then plow an extra four fields so that uh, I could still sow and, and still get crop points. But, uh, of course, without the Rotherham Plow, plowing seven fields is more difficult. But I'll, I'll go for five. I mean, if Corral is only two points, that's okay. Oh, why is it not clicking? There, whoa, something's messed up. Oh no, things are out of order. Why is it? Let's do that again. There we go, that's working again. That was weird. Lumen must have finished streaming because a whole bunch of, I just got a whole bunch of viewers in the last little bit.
So PM won't start player. So if PT does not start player here, that means I'm guaranteed to get my moves next round. PM will day labor, get a read. Start player Harrow. Okay. I wonder if they picked up evening prayer or something. That's why they want early fields. Good. Yeah, PM's unlikely to take two read over readstone food. Not when he already has a read from food connoisseur. So second action, large sun hat or play an occupation. Apparently no one wants Reedstone food, so PT got four wood into Reedstone food, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Time to get dumpstered by parchment. I'm not too worried about it. If it wasn't Jewel that was playing it, yes, I'd be more worried. Uh, occupation. Childcare worker? I might not play seed seller for a while. And yeah, next round. Wood. Sun hat plow. Not in that order. So major minor flipped, so I'll first move plow because I should get large sun hat with my second move. And with harrow on the table, I have to be a little careful of large sun hat getting blocked. I, I, I don't know, I'm just going to be afraid of PT doing whatever I don't want him to this game, I think. I think that's what I'm going to assume. But I can't, I have to play really carefully around PT. Late sheep, so I'm pretty happy that I picked up Child Care Worker with a late sheep game. Jewel plays Child Psychologist, so yeah, not parchment, but free occupations with Child Psychologist. Just that the timing is not controlled by by uh, Jewel, the timing is controlled by the family growth queue. Either way, it's you turn a sheep into an auk, but slightly different. But very sensible first pick for Jewel. That makes me happy. I'm happy when I see new players make sensible draft choices. Okay, center for PM. Okay.
Mm, could take wood again. No, I'm. what am I saying? I need food. What am I saying? I need food. Too bad I can't child care worker in round four. That would be nice. I think this is Reedstone food into day labor, which is kind of hilariously bad. And I don't even get to manual labor this round. Unless I wanted to beg to get an extra read or an extra something, whatever I take with my first move. Yeah, I guess late sheep, it's hungry, hungry game for me as well. So this into day labor is not the end of the world. Tool, start player sheep market. Okay, now that's a little weird. I guess you can hold more. Like this kind of artificially increases your animal capacity, but now nah, just build the fireplace, turn your sheep into two food, play all your occupations for free. You don't need to mess around with stuff like sheep market. Uh, I guess it's possible you picked up Renaissance Man and is just setting up Renaissance Man, turning a sheep into a vegetable. If family growth flips in five and I child care work on it, then I can consider using Harrow on my sun hat plow in six. But I would need, well, I guess I could do it in round six as well. Just as long as family growth isn't round seven. Head of the family for PT. All right. Well, hopefully it's not uh, round five. Well, round seven family growth would be very good for the head of the family. Sheep for vegetable. Yeah, definitely setting up Renaissance man, it looks like. Whenever you're ready. There we go. It's Reno. Okay. Well, I mean, Field Doctor doesn't mind leave family growth. So I'll probably try to trigger manual labor this round. So probably five clay into plow. Five clay's gone. Okay, so four wood or three wood. Probably PM takes the three wood. Maybe PM wants the food from Reedstone Food. Could see something like that happen. No. Three wood. And I have no food, so I can't play an occupation with my second move. I could start player corral and steal the sheep. That would probably really, that would starve the table quite a bit, actually, if I did that. Yeah, I could do that. Start player corral and then take the sheep. Yeah. Yeah, that would really starve the table, make it difficult. Well, I mean, it would be pretty mean to jewel, but... I remember when France Deck came out, I didn't even consider playing manual labor, hardly ever. 
I guess I guess you need some like kind of degenerate strategies where you're not taking the resources to build a room, right? Because when France came out, the meta was very much you know to read is a great action, readstone food is the best action, which readstone food is still the best action, but. Uh, PM's plowing two fields here. Okay, yeah. Second action, plow, plow two fields with harrow, and then my third move is probably two reed or two wood. And then try to get six clay in round seven, maybe like something like six clay field doctor round seven. This is a pretty amazing start, I have to say. This is a pretty fantastic start. It's really good. Yeah, and then my last move is to, yeah, to read or wood. Good doctor prevents you. Uh, nope, it does not. Um, if you can remove the field, so if after growing with field doctor, There were, yeah, so there's cards like Abandoned Willow, um, which you can remove your field. But the, the key is you have to grow. For, you have to trigger Field Doctor first, and then you can remove it. And then, but then even then, if you're building rooms, you can't grow into those rooms unless you build more than one room. Because, of course, once you build, if you have three family members on two rooms, once you build the third room, third family member just goes into that third room. Renaissance Man and Miser. Okay. Actually, never mind, it didn't. Nor me. All right. Two read plus a read here. Uh, also would read on and then I get six wood again the it's possible that the six clay is actually better than the six wood just because of our farm steward but I'm going to take the six wood.
So looks like PT wants to set up. I could have played Field Doctor there, but uh, better to manu trigger manual labor. So PM's saying I should have could have played Field Doctor and then grown here. But uh, I'm actually more interested in taking two reed plus a reed and, and se three reed and seven wood. Because that represents 15 food and four wood for me. So those moves are quite good. Quite good. Then I can take three clay in round eight. Family growth in round eight and then three clay in round eight. Trigger manual labor again. And I'm on track to trigger manual labor every single round except for round one, which is uh, which is great. And on family growth, I could play absinthe or I could play open gate. Either seems reasonable. Probably absinthe first because then I can put a food on family growth for the... Uh, when I family growth with farm steward. I can play open gate then. Uh, wood read when he renos or when he grows. Yeah, chocolate with uh, child uh, with child psych is nice. Yeah, Jules, Jules got some good stuff going on. Feel Doctor and Farm Stewart good on their own, or only when you? Um, no, it's okay. Please ask questions. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Field Doctor struggles a little bit in round five family growth games. But uh, the advantage of Field Doctor is that if you have, you can get crops in the ground incredibly early, which can be very powerful depending on what other cards you have. Um, yeah, I think three clay plus a clay here is fine. So yeah, depending on what other cards you have, uh, Field Doctor is, is definitely good on its own. And Farm Steward, Farm Steward you don't usually want to skip building a wood room to grow with Farm Steward unless you have a payoff for an early reno. For example, uh, if you have a really good clay or stone house card, you might do that. Most of the time with Farm Steward, though, your goal should be to build a wood room and grow and then reno and grow again really quickly with Farm Steward. Usually with Field Doctor, you want another way to grow without room. If you can, yes. In a late family growth game, Field Doctor can be very powerful, even if you don't have a way to grow to four. You can just try to get family growth even without room. The other thing is a lot of cards that have effects, like repeated effects, you can look at those like family growth action. So for example, Scholar. Scholar is very close to a family growth action. It's just a family growth action that has to take the occupation action every round. Or a major minor action every round, for example. All right. Family growth. Play absence. This should be a win. This this game is going like kind of, it's kind of silly how good this game is going for me. And I forgot to breed my sheep. I should have four sheep. Wait, did PM not take family? Did PM not start player last round? PM... I thought they announced a minor. Oh, it was Reno. 
They played a minor on Reno. Okay, it's just a, a little unusual to play a minor on Reno. That's all. Jules got sleight of hand. Probably on start player here. Probably they're going to get their one clay with sleight of hand for Renaissance Man. And then what else are you doing? Maybe planning to build the well. Four wood. Okay, so four wood into clay SSR is not great. Uh, because four wood is usually pretty important, but maybe in this game wood is not as valuable because I skipped on a wood room and we've got, um, you know, apple picker, parquet setter, putting a little bit of wood in. Clay plasterer. Okay. You kind of need more than one clay then. Looked like he maybe was thinking about Reno, Reno well, but could just build the well here. Oh no, that's PT with Clay Pastor. Okay, I'm getting confused because Jules said they were going to play an Auk, but then PT announced one on their regular turn. Okay, PT's going to Reno and build a Clay Room. All right. PM's building a room. Yeah, the fact that I can grow with Field Doctor and then also know I can reliably grow with Farm Steward is, is good. So PM and probably PM and PT will both grow next round because PT is going to Reno Clay Oven. And uh, PM will Family Growth and then PT can grow unblockably with Head of the Family. So I should be planning to, uh, I should be trying to set up Farm Steward Growth in round 10. Looks like. Where's Absinthe going to go? Maybe cheap occupation. PM's pretty hungry. Hard to imagine PM has time to play an Auk. And PT, same thing. And Jewel doesn't want to play an Auk. Yeah. Abs to look, looks good here. Yeah, PM's pretty hungry. PM needs to grow and then figure out feeding. PT, Reno, Clay Oven, Build, Grow, PM, Grow, Three Food, Something, and then Jewel takes building resources probably, takes animals, takes building resources. So I should get on the occupation, I should, occupation should be easy. Didn't go for the giant farm steward field doctor double growth. Yeah, I was, I was too much of a coward, clearly. With Head of the Family, I didn't really need it. Uh, I'll grab the boar, sure. The boar look nice. Oh, PT's playing Tinsmith. Not, uh... Not going to build the clay oven. Okay. And then Reno build the well, I suppose. It's fine.
So with the boar, I kind of want to play open gate this round. So last move, start player, open gate, probably. I guess I could have run out and played open gate there, but didn't really mess with PT. I'll reno open gate if it comes back, but pretty sure PT is going to reno. Reno and build the well. Reno open gate if PT doesn't. Yep. Yeah, the three stone is not as good. So the one of the reasons that the well is so good is that it's a four point action that do, all, all it requires is that you have the building resources. You don't have to have any, there are no other um, constraints on your farm. The two boar are going to be much better than a four, wood, four, uh, four point action, but they're not usually a four point action because they um, are, are not much better, but they're going to be probably a four point action but they, they have the requirement that I have to actually be able to do something with them, right? Like I have to be able to hold them. Start player open gate and then try to trigger manual labor with my last action, I think. Could be on the three stone space or wood or clay. Any of those would be fine. So probably I don't grow in 10, probably I grow in 11, just because PT is not growing this round. I, I expected PT to grow this round, but uh, they decided not to, to build Tinsmith instead. Maybe PT is going to take Reedstone food and then double build. That's probably what's happening. But then you're spending your clay that you're trying to feed with, so I don't know. I guess Jules gotten a bunch of good wood actions. Yeah, PT is going to double build. Yeah, so maybe try to grow an 11. I mean, I've got some really good stuff going on here, so I'm not too not too upset. Uh, three stone. Sure. Three stone, that's really four stone. And then six wood, that's really seven wood. I need to feed four. Oh, I'm going to convert wood reed on... I missed that. And then sheep to gate, read the boar. All right. I don't get the extra wood now. Oh, I don't get the wood just yet. Oh, sorry. You're right. Thank you. I was, I jump in, jump in the gun, jump in the gun. Six clay would be good. Yep, six clay would be very good if it comes back. I was thinking I could build the stone oven, but yeah, the pottery would be good.
Yeah. And six clay is nine food. Can't think of a better use for six clay than turning it into nine food. Oh, it's snowing. Only a little bit. Must be cold out. I have no idea if what Jewel is doing is correct. I have no idea. Just having to trust them. Because they're making changes like after the fact and stuff. Hopefully they've got their resources correct. did not make it back okay um, gonna run with this move Reno stone oven and then I can farm steward last move or do something else Could take a vegetable. Probably farm steward makes sense though, so I can first move family growth next round. So PT can't block me. Yeah, childcare. Yeah, if I could keep if I can keep this one clay to coffee break, um, either for rooster round twelve or just to play it. Um, what am I trying to say? Just play it uh, on start player to get family growth or something. Yeah, I think farm steward is good. That was my plan. And Jewel will family growth. And PT will family growth. So that means I do get to act before PT next round. Definitely playing Farm Steward here. What else am I playing on growth? Well, I was thinking I'd play Bookmark. Because Seed Seller coming in round 13 could be fine. Or Giant. Seed Seller or Giant. Both could be pretty good in round 13. Oh, Family Growth is next round. Right, 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 right. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, giant round 14 is a... I mean, there's no downside to Giant if I play it in round 14. It just doubles one of my actions. I think that would be okay. It might, it doesn't look like it will be super impactful. But, uh, I don't know, looks fine to me. 
Like maybe it doubles uh, one cattle. Might double one cattle. Might double pl get for an extra field or something. But a wood for a point looks like an okay conversion. Especially to get one extra miner here. Because I'm, I'm going to want to start player either in 12 or 13. Or to get the rooster points in 14. I'm going to want want one of those things for sure. So I think making myself have an extra useful miner here is good. Get utility out of an earlier giant. Mm. If I wanted to double Reno, I'd agree. Or double a wood action, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of scared of playing giant giant any earlier. Just because I th I'm a little light on actions. Like I, I, my actions have to be pretty. I have to be pretty careful with my moves. I think. Um, Abs on FG. <laughs> I think probably gonna need more than one wood action. I'm gonna want a read action. Try and makes it easier to get two cattle. Yeah, but I can't actually hold the two cattle until I fence. I mean, I think I probably fence 12 this round. But I, yeah, just so I can keep reading the boar, but I'm not totally sure. Oh, what what am I saying? No, not that. You saw nothing. Yeah, I like three read if it's still there. The three wood probably does not come back. Yeah, three reed and then vegetable. And then the boar. Um, I can't hold all my boar, but that's uh, okay. Them's the breaks. Yeah, and then I'll prioritize four wood really highly next round. Read the boar and go down to three. You think so? Boar go to four, five, six. If I'm not going to eat the boar, I don't think it matters. I, I think the sheep, keeping the sheep is fine. And I think it's very possible that I don't eat the boar, that I don't take clay again this game. Oh, the reed are gone. The reed are gone. Okay. Does make childcare worker worse here. So two wood, two wood, and then uh, and then fence fence twelve, I think. Yeah. How many more power actions? Yeah. I think I can leave. I can. Probably not going to plow three times, but I can plow maybe twice more. So I think fencing 12 is okay. Or fence 13. Fence 13 is fine. I, the thing is, the extra pasture is not as good with corral. That's the thing. Planning to plow three more fields. I was thinking I'd probably plow two more fields. Right? Sort of what I'm, what I'm looking at. 
Because I, I think this game, I want I want to hold animals on my corral, but I want to be sowing crops as well. So I think getting fields that are not adjacent to my house are are useful here. I think I might I think I need the point ceiling of uh, from that comes from the corral. So I think I'm gonna want to be able to do both. I can sow on like these two fields and fence covering these eight spaces. I could do that as well. Have I used the harrow already? I have, yeah. Oh, PM's fencing, so it's a moot point. Moot point. All right. Mm, start player coffee break. No. Occupation seed seller. Sure. That way I can play coffee break and seed seller does not interrupt it. Feed seven. Uh, sheep to the gate. Yeah, the fact that I didn't, I didn't get plow, uh, fence here makes my choices a lot easier, I have to say. It makes my decisions a lot easier. I think I probably don't eat a wood when I'm not eating a reed as well. Although I am going to start running out of uh, times when I can play child care worker. Because Jewel and PM are both at four family members. And PT is about to go to five. So I only have two. If I don't do it here, I only have two possible chances yet left. Um, one to two food is okay. But it's not great. It's not great. I have. I should hopefully get the absinthe food. So if I can make sure that I get the absinthe food, that helps for the next harvest at least. It's round four. It's round fourteen that I'm worried about. Like if I childcare worker twice more for five food, then that's my feeding for the rest of the game, and that that would work okay. Pelts is good for Jewel. I don't know if I commented on Pelts. I'm not sure when they played it, but Pelts is nice. Yeah, Jewel's got a nice hand. Jewel's doing well. Doing well. They were saying that they were like nervous about playing and stuff, but they're they're doing well. I think they're holding too many animals though. to not plow so where is absinthe gonna go uh, 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 three wood if it's on three yeah since family growth doesn't didn't flip I can trigger double I can trigger 13 14 um, so three wood looks okay here oh it's really snowing it's like it's nice snowing where it looks very pretty when it's coming down
I need to get my snow tires on. I have to do that. I'll start player if it comes back. Start player coffee break and then take a vegetable and something else. I play coffee break and PM is prompted to be right back. <laughs> PM needs more coffee. Coffee break should really cost a vegetable. The fact that it costs clay is kind of weird. You're eating, you're making dirt out of your coffee. Or dirt into your coffee. Coffee out of your dirt. Uh, words are tough. Speaking English is tough. Yeah, vegetable and then something. Vegetable and then fence. Yeah. Yeah, and I can fence 15. Covering eight spaces. Plan to plow one more field. I'm growing right, not plow sowing. You're building an espresso machine. Uh, I was thinking I was going to plus so actually. I was, I kind of want, well. If I grow, if I grow, then, I mean, childcare worker only triggers one more time in 14, but I probably can afford to take like four food traveling players or something. I'd probably be okay. Um, grow is good. Well, the thing is, I'm thinking about grow. If I let someone else grow, then I can use a wood for two food, even without the reed conversion. PM just played Immigrant Son. Okay, so PM is going to play two more uh, occupations. So PM is... Not going to plow. Jewel will plow so if I leave it for them. PT. Hard to say what PT will do. PT might plow one field or something. Jewel will certainly plow so if I, that's what I leave. I guess I still want the animals to actually be on the corral spaces. Take grain and so bake anyways. That's true. Yeah, I do have that option. I did build the stone oven. Yeah, I guess the advantage of plow sow 13 is sowing again in 14, which if I do that, I'm taking away corral points from myself. So that makes that makes plow sow quite a bit. That makes plow sow quite a bit worse actually, because the big advantage of plow sowing 13 is would be re sowing here for me. Because my first sow action is not very good. It's the second sow action that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Family growth seems like it's better. I'm I'm convinced.
I want to make a miner that lets you play an occupation before round one. I think that would be neat. Like rooster, like the rooster's companion or something. And you play it and pay two food and play an occupation before round one. I think that would be neat. I think self-employee is, just doesn't do anything, right? Just doesn't do anything. That would be fun. It would let you morning trade round one, which would be pretty, pretty cool. Or do whatever. Might be, might be too strong. But I think it would be fun. Ooh, that field layout is kind of weird. Joel's planning to build another room. What could it be? Can't think of what it would be. So I think I'm hoping to giant the cattle in 14. So I don't really want to take cattle here. So I will plow. Get that done. Reedstone food would be a thing. Leaving options open, no reason to block off rooms. I mean, you could fence 14, and it, it blocks fencing 14. It makes your fence a bit inefficient. Two cattle is only one point for me. Mm, that doesn't seem right. You mean, you're, you mean giant gets me the one extra point, is what you're saying. Whatever I giant, it will, it will be one point. That's, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll grab two read here, actually. Mm, the BMW is available. Uh, two read also maybe lets me read some food into reno, but these guys are all going to reno, so seems like it'll be difficult for me to get there. Unless one of them renos this round. Jewel doesn't want to reno this round because he wants to trigger Renaissance Man. But PM might reno this round. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying... You're saying going from two cattle, you're saying going, like, giant two cattle. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that one cattle is getting taken this round, Sid, and that I'm going to giant one cattle in 14. That's, that's my assumption. Jewel Rotherham plow. So Jewel's hoping to get one more plow action. But yeah, renovating here turns off uh, Renaissance Man, which is sad. Unless he takes Reedstone food for one point. No matter what, Giant is just one point. Yep. Let's 
seems like that will be the case. Probably build stables in the last round. Probably that's gonna be something to do. Cause I'm gonna run out of stuff to do pretty quickly. Joel keeps pl typing plus two food, plus wood, when that's not really how we use it. They're saying plus two food as if like they're generating an extra two food, but no, it's just two food goes to pelts. The plus is a little oddly placed is all in, in terms of our normal conventions. nine harvest sheep to gate Yeah, Jewel has not taken enough wood this game. Jewel needs more wood. I guess I took a bunch of his wood. Also, I don't really like how PT has laid out their farm. I guess I'm not a hunt. I'm not totally sure that it's different. But I'm pretty sure it's better to f do rooms along the bottom and then do your fencing along the top so it's all on the same row. Does that, is that different? Maybe every three segment. It's, it's different if you want to have a six, a two pasture segment, but it's not different if you're only going to have four and then three, three, three segments. I think you maybe can cover an extra space if they're all along the same line, but maybe, it, yeah, that might not actually matter. You just need one space to have um, to cover six. Yeah, 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 that doesn't actually make a difference. PT plays Dairy Crier. Uh, yeah, I'll take two sheep, sure. Problem is, I can't really hold them. This means that I, I have to throw away a boar, maybe. If I get the... Assuming I get the cattle. I'll take the sheep, because there's a chance that I... Uh, there's a chance that the cattle get taken by PM. I'll put the abs on room so I can build stables. 
Just arrived farm stool field powerful looks really cool powerful yeah shouldn't PT have used hero when uh is hero an extra field plow two instead of one so it doesn't actually work with uh you can't do both with rushing machine plow because uh, Harrow specifically, it doesn't say do one extra, it's get one, is all. Or get, sorry, get two, exactly. So I'm hoping PM passes me the two cattle. I'll turn a wood into two food whenever somebody takes family growth. If the two cattle's gone, I'll grab four wood. And giant, oh, uh, Auk. Uh, I think I have a good chance if I get the stables. If I get three wood into stables, I think I've got a chance. Just because my animal score is a lot better. Certainly my house is a lot worse. I'm um, eight points behind on my house. And they've got the well, but I've got good bonuses between corral, open gate. PM plays understudy. So what what space does he want to use a second time? Not sure which one that oh um oh it, it lets him unblockably occupation again with immigrant son. Yeah, PT has to eat a bunch of their points at the end of the game, Sid. I'm not... Oh, no, never mind. Tinsmith, of course. Tinsmith, right. So they do breed their sheep. But I'm up quite a few points on animals. We'll see. Uh, vegetable and two grain are both one point actions, as are stables. Stables look like they're unblockable right now. I'll take the three wood. It's a one point move. The eight point house difference is big. You're right about that. You're right about that. Yep, it might be. Might be a win for PT. Which will be extremely annoying. It'll be really annoying if it is. Oh, man, because PT really screwed me in game one. Really screwed me in game one. I was one point off the win. And another player screwed me as well, but... Oh, well.
I maybe should have um, taken a Reedstone food. I, the other thing I could have thought about is a Reedstone food action just to uh, threaten PT's growth. Because PT was dependent on two stone into um, Reno. So I could have thought about a Reedstone food action. Oh, um... Oh, Lord of the Manor, nice. I turn a wood into food, food when jewel family grows. And then I can take two grain or a vegetable. And last move is stables. Looks like stable. the stables move is safe. So I'll grab vegetable since that's a point for PT, even though I know PT is not going to do it. Jewel took the rooster point away from PT, so that's good. I don't really need to wood to FF. Yeah. Whatever. I may as well. Because I'll have an extra wood at the end of the game, too. Because I can make, get a wood from manual labor. So I have so much wood. I guess it's possible PT has some really good, um, what improvement could they play here? Like clay path, clay path would be really good. Although if it's, if it is clay path, then they don't really have food. So yeah, clay path would not be good here. Would have to be a free miner, like, um, I don't know, a free miner that's worth more than one point. I'm not sure what that would be that they would get, that they could play here. Like leftovers. Leftovers, maybe, but I don't know. Yeah. Nah, it's just nothing. It's just a Reno. Alright, so whatever I score plus 8 at the end of the game. Fifty-four. Yeah, PT forty-nine. I won by five. Nice. Yeah, I was pretty sure that this was a win. So fifty-four, forty-seven, forty-nine, forty-one. Okay, forty-eight. GG. Yeah. Yeah, this, this hand was quite strong. Uh, this hand was quite strong. Um, getting both my large sun hat gross off was really nice. Uh, I got exactly the resources I need, needed for child care worker. That was quite important. The fact that I was able to manual labor to read a bunch of times was really good for child care worker. They were just a bunch of nine food actions, so... Yep, and uh, I didn't have too much to do at the end of the game. The fact that I had point moves with the stables was great, so. GG. Guys, that's win number one on Two Win Tuesday. Looks like I'm going to hop into another game pretty quick. Uh, going to take a short break, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video, and we'll see you in a bit.